everyone, it is Patty. I wanted to share some of the things I have been loving lately. I like sharing every few months some things I have really been enjoying. And we are in a season of craziness where we moved and so I haven't been trying tons of new things because we're unpacking all of our old things and I'm rediscovering things that I haven't seen in a long time. But I did want to share with you a few things that I have really been loving and things that I have found helpful recently um, since we moved and all of that stuff. So let me go ahead and show you what I have been loving. So definitely in the season of moving, there's a lot of cleaning to be done. And something that has been so, so helpful is this um, wood cleaner by Method. And it is in the almond scent. Oh my goodness, this smells so amazing. And something that I absolutely love about this wood cleaner is it doesn't leave that residue that some of the other wood cleaners leave. I feel like this one just leaves like a clean wood surface and not like that sticky, like foamy residue layer. So to go along with that, um, I was recently gifted these uh, microfiber cloths and these are amazing. They're from Home Depot. My mother-in-law got us a huge pack when we bought this house. Um, and they are awesome. They're the best fiber cloths I've ever tried. Um, and not that I've tried tons, but they're really good quality and I feel like they really do a good job with cleaning. Another thing I have been enjoying, like a house related product, is this sponge caddy. It has a slot inside and you just kind of slide your sponge and it really helps keep the odor away from the sponges because it dries out and the water uh, goes in this and then you, it's so easy to just dump out the water and clean out the sponge uh, caddy. So I really like this. Um, we used to have one of those sponge holders that would stick to the sink, but this sink uh, that wouldn't uh, stick to. So this is just perfect. I have it on a cake stand and I feel like it looks really cute too. I got this one off of Amazon and I feel like it was about $10. And I think that's definitely worth it because it preserves the sponge for a while because it doesn't get like stinky or dirty or whatever. Um, another house really thing that I have been loving are these mugs. I purchased these mugs because I knew we got rid of our coffee mugs when we packed up all our stuff. So I knew we needed some new ones. And these are from the Hearth and Hand collection at uh, Target. So like the Magnolia line. Uh, for Target and they are very recently priced. I want to say they're either $2.99 or $3.99 So about the redone price for a mug and I love it because they are Truly microwave safe so many mugs say they are microwave safe yet You pull it out of the microwave and they are burning hot this part does get hot But the handle does not at least for me, in my experience, it has not. I have stuck these in the microwave and they have not gotten hot. I've only had them for a month, but so far I've been super impressed. Um, I also stick them in the dishwasher and they haven't gotten any of those cracks on the inside, which a lot of these types of like stoneware mugs get cracks on the inside, which is kind of frustrating because then I feel like they're not super high quality. Um, so I've been super happy with them. Um, it says may get hot in the microwave so it does say that so I guess it depends on how long you put it in the microwave but I have not had any issues so I really like them I'll keep you guys updated if I have any issues but so far I've been loving these mugs and I just love how like clean and classic they look um, the next thing two things are beauty, beauty related items the first is an oldie but a goodie I mentioned this many many videos ago um, when I first did current favorites and it is the Naked 3 palette um, by Urban Decay. I haven't used this in a really long time because I was using a lot of spring colors like the peach palette, the Too Faced peach palette and a lot of those spring fun colors but now I'm itching for fall and I feel like this is the perfect transitional palette. It has a lot of beautiful like purple, rose, gold colors, and I'm so sad because I am already out of the, um, what, what color is it? The dust color, and it's one of, it was one of my favorites, so I was pretty sad about that, but this is one of my favorite palettes, and I just feel like it's a beautiful, 
a transitional palette um, and I feel like it's perfect to gear up for fall because I definitely am counting down the days to fall. Let me know in the comments if you love fall and give this video a thumbs up if you are a fall lover like me. Um, the next thing that I have been loving is this lipstick by Bite and I really like their lipsticks. They're actually one of my favorite uh, brands for lipsticks and this is what the color looks like and the color name is Fig and again like I said I have been wanting some transitional colors and I feel like this one is just the perfect transitional color. I feel like it's great. It's not too springy but it's also not too like dark. I feel like it's a good transitional color. So I definitely have been pulling out a lot of like the rose gold and mauve tones um, that I feel like are gearing up for fall because I love burgundies and um, mauve colors and I feel like they're really fun and um, I kind of want to break from the peaches from the peaches I love the peaches when we start spring but once you get towards the end of the summer you kind of need a break the last thing is a kid related thing and they are these plates from the pillow fort line they just released a new line um, of plates they don't look exactly like this they're a little bit thinner and the bowls are a little bit thinner but I love these these are great they're 79 cents I have the divided plates too um, and they I just stick with this color and I have both kids use this color um, Ella is not using um, plates yet but uh, she'll be using these as well and um, I love having just one color because that way they're not fighting over plates there's no whose is whose Everyone uses the same kind, but they're super sturdy, um, and I just feel like they're the best kids' plates. They're my absolute favorite, and I've gone through so many kids' plates, and these are by far, hands down, my favorite. So I highly recommend them, and they're super inexpensive. I believe the divided plates are a little bit more, but definitely worth it, and so, so affordable. So I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing some of my favorites that I have been enjoying these last few months. I definitely have so many favorites coming in fall because I love fall time and there's so many things that I enjoy. But let me know what are some things you have been loving? What are some products that are like must-haves for you um, in the comments down below because I love trying out new things. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on another video tomorrow. Bye!